Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving, all of the fibre related things. Welcome to my February making plans video. I am going to be rolling the dice to help me decide what projects to work on throughout the month of February. So this is something I have been doing on and off over the last couple of years and it helps me to focus in on a few of my projects each month to concentrate on. Just in case you're reasonably new to the channel, I'm someone who likes to have lots of works in progress on the go at the same time. I enjoy having the choice to pick up things that suit my mood or my fancy, my inclination at any particular time. However, having so many projects on the needles can also lead me down a path of procrastination. <laughs> So sometimes I could spend the whole day looking through my projects and trying to decide what to work on and then before I know it the day's gone and I've worked on nothing. <laughs> so at the beginning of each month I employ a little bit of a game of chance. I have a 20 sided dice and a pack of cards with some random prompts that I have made up for myself on the back of each card and I roll the dice and I try to pick projects based on the prompts that come up after the dice rolling has happened. Some of the prompts are a little bit more specific, some are quite broad, so I still get quite an element of choice and the ability to pick and choose depending on what I might be in the mood for, but I also get a little bit of direction as well. Last year, as I rolled the dice, a few folks out there in the community who also have quite a lot of works in progress um, decided to play along and have also been using my prompts to pick their projects for the month, which is really fun. But now that the cast-on fun is over for the year, I've just finished my 12 cast-ons, it means that I'm at maximum work in progress count. <laughs> I've got 27 works in progress behind me. Um, that's just knitting and crochet doesn't include some of my spin projects and my weaving and sewing and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's plenty of projects to pick from. My cards this year are super beautiful and they have been kindly gifted to me by my lovely friend Simone and she has her own channel here on YouTube. She does a lot of journaling and planning videos and occasionally she pops up a knitting and crafting video although she hasn't done one of those for a while but I shall link to her channel below and she very kindly made me some beautiful cards this year and I have stuck some little sticky notes on the back of the cards with my prompts and this means that I can switch out my prompts at any point that I want to and still be able to use these beautiful cards I haven't sort of permanently marked them if you have any thoughts on what prompts I could possibly include on my cards in the future then please do leave them in the comments below because I'm always interested to change things up and to keep things interesting. Right, without further waffle, <laughs> let's get on and roll the dice for February 2023. <laughs> Dice rolls are done and I've got my four cards picked out of the pack so we'll have a look at what prompts we're going to be picking from in just one moment but before we do go into that I'm going to be trying if I can to fit in my advent mittens into my prompts each month. If you have followed the 12 cast ons video you'll know that on day nine of the cast ons I started uh, advent garland some mini colour work mittens and I want to try and have those to hang up as a decoration this coming December. So my aim is to try and knit two or three of those mini mittens each month. So where I can, I'll be trying to fit those into one of the prompts that comes up. But if I can't fit them in, then I might just also put those in as a fifth project because I really want to keep the momentum going for that project. I want to try and 
get it done for this year if I can we'll see I say that about a lot of my projects and it never happens <laughs> life gets in the way so yeah we'll see what happens anyway that was just something to bear in mind the other thing that I want to do is also try to keep a balance between working on the brand new shiny projects because having just cast on my 12 new projects the temptation is just to work on the new shiny things the things that are really capturing my attention the things that I've worked on most recently however I do want to try and progress some of my older projects as well so from my four prompts I would like to try and pick at least one of my older projects to work on each month now of course depending on where I am with each of these projects um, it doesn't mean that all four of these are going to get finished but hopefully all four of the projects that I pick will at least see some progress. I've just grabbed these off the table and as I grabbed them they fell on the floor. I'm not sure now which order I rolled these in but it doesn't really matter. We shall have a look at the prompts and then we shall pick our project. So the dice rolled number 16 and on the back of number 16 the prompt is crochet. Okay, that's an interesting one because I'm going to pull up my project list on Ravelry but I, I know that I've only got two crochet projects on the needles so I don't really need my Ravelry project list for this one. So my choice for crochet, unless I wanted to start something completely new, which is also allowed if I wanted to. <laughs> um, so my choice are my Victor Frog project, which was one of my 12 cast-ons from 2021. Um, or back in December I started a new crochet project a granny square blanket so Victor Frog is a stuffy a softy a toy obviously my granny square is a big blanket project my blanket project is something that's going to be ongoing I started using the mini skeins that I got in an advent swap with a group of my lovely friends back in December and I plan to continue to progress that project just by raiding some of my leftovers and making a few more squares. I'm sorely tempted to make a little bit of progress on that one because it's a fun and easy project that is a great one to do in front of the TV in the evening. I'm enjoying making those squares. I'm making the blanket in a sort of modular way. Perhaps I should try and grab that project. I'm not sure where it's living at the moment. Where is the project bag for that? Bear with me. <laughs> had a little rummage behind me and I have found my granny square blanket in progress so I made a whole bunch of these squares back throughout vlogmas so if you watch my vlogmas videos you may well have seen these and I've got a couple of squares in the bag but are still in progress where the mini skein that I had wasn't quite enough to get me the four squares that I need for each of the bigger squares so I could definitely go in to my scrap basket and find some things to match with these to finish those two squares and there's also a chance that I shall be getting some extra minis from one of my friends who's in our swap group whose package went astray and then eventually got returned to the person who sent it out <laughs> but I'm seeing my group of friends in a couple of weeks no this coming weekend yay exciting I'm losing track of time this coming weekend I'll be seeing that lovely group of friends and so if they remember I might get my mini skeins from them so I would have some more to add to this so so tempting so tempting however I think the most sensible thing is for me to pick my oldest project my Victor Frog and see if I can finally push through and get Victor finished <laughs> Now, I'm chatting about Victor as if you'll know who he is, but if you're new to the channel, you may not have watched my 12 cast-ons from 2021. Um, Victor, whoops, is a project from the Friends, Animal Friends of Pika Pal book. And there he is on the front there. And he came about last year because I started a project and then I frogged a project, which led us down a whole frog rabbit hole. If you want to catch up, go and watch that video. It made a lot of people laugh. And so I started a Victor and I just needed to make legs, arms, and that's about it. And Victor will be finished. The reason I procrastinated so long on Victor is because I'm making him from cotton yarn and crochet is very hard on my hands and wrists, particularly in cotton yarn. And I'm working on the smallest parts now, the legs, arms are very small rounds and it, yeah it's just very hard work on my hands so I keep procrastinating on Victor but I think it is time 
it's time for Victor to have his moment to shine and in February we're going to be not only working on, this is a bold promise, we're not only going to be working on Victor, we're going to be finishing, finish February, finish Victor in February. <laughs> First work in progress, picked by the dice this year, Victor Frog. Second number is number six. These cars are just gorgeous, aren't they? And on the back of number six, we have the prompt mood. And all that means is just to work on whatever takes my fancy, whatever I'm in the mood for. So I'm not going to officially pick a project for this one right now because that kind of defeats the purpose of it being something that you work on, that you're in the mood for in that moment. However, as I've already mentioned, this coming weekend I'll be going away with a group of friends so I need something that's going to be easy knit. So Victor Frog is not going to cut it for being able to work on and be in a group situation where I'm chatting and just having a jolly good old time with some of my loveliest friends. So I'm probably going to wait until I pack, I'm packing my stuff for the weekend and pick out something that's going to be easy to work on. My initial thoughts are my Ripple Bralette, which I cast on for this round of 12 cast-ons because that's, I'm basically making like a 15 inch tube of three by three rib. So that will definitely be doable. I've also got my gingerbread sock. There are a couple of projects that spring to mind, um, but we'll see where the mood takes us. <laughs> so that one's a little bit mysterious, but it's a good open-ended prompt and it means I can work on whatever I want, whenever I want. <laughs> It's a bit of a sort of get out of jail free card, isn't it? <laughs> Permission to do whatever I jolly well like. Third prompt, um, coincidentally, is number three. <laughs> and on the back of number three, we have newest. Okay, that one's exciting. So again, another pretty obvious prompt. It is to work on the thing that you've cast on most recently. And for me, my most recent cast on was day 12 of the 12 cast ons, which is the mid coast sweater. And I'm really, really thrilled to be working on this one again straight away. So mid coast is a pattern by Jen, Jennifer Steingas, and I'm knitting mine. Mine's living in this lovely project bag that was a gift from Kate. And I'm knitting mine from three glorious colours of Cartreff yarn, which is a beautiful Welsh produced yarn. Fleeces are sourced. Yarn is spun right here in Wales. So it's a top down colour work sweater. This is the progress I made on my first day. I've literally just got into my colour work. It's a bit hard to show you because I've got loads of stitches on a circular needle which isn't quite big enough to <laughs> stretch all of the stitches around. I knit much more than I probably ought to have on that last day of cast-ons just because I was loving working with this yarn so much. So I am thrilled to have the opportunity to get back to this project pretty much straight away and I'm really really enjoying my colour work at the moment. Thanks to the dice for that one, that's a great pick. <laughs> I think I would be happy if I could progress that sweater to the point where I finish the colour work and maybe split for the sleeves because after that it's just round and round knitting. So yeah, I think that might be my aim for February. It might be a bit of a big ask given I've got a few things going on in February and obviously other projects to work on but it's good to set yourself little aims and goals, isn't it? As long as you're not the sort of person that then beats yourself up because you don't reach them. <laughs> I like to try and stretch myself but I'm never too hard on myself if I don't get to exactly where I'd hoped or planned to be. And then the final prompt for February, number 18. And on the back of this one, we have handspun. So work on something that incorporates my handspun yarn and I've got loads of choices for that because I've got plenty of projects that I've just cast on and also some projects from previous that incorporate my hand spun so just to give you an idea I've got I'm spinning for a love note sweater I'm spinning for a litmus cowl I've got my hand spun astra vest on the go and then this year's 12 cast ons I started the lunar mitts which had some hand spun my hept heptagon shawl which had hand spun in it my sun gazer hand spun Carlina's got hand spun in it is that everything I think that's everything no I've got another shawl and the dappled light shawl so plenty <laughs> plenty of projects to choose from in that 
prompt. That's another quite an open-ended one, a nice one for myself. I would happily pick up any of those projects. So um, give me a second. I think I'm gonna need to have a good think. <laughs> try and narrow this down somehow. Okay, I think I'm going to cheat slightly on this one. I have narrowed it down. I've managed to narrow it down from like six or seven projects, whatever that was, to two. <laughs> and they're both two smaller projects and I picked two out for a reason. So the first one that I would like to try and make some progress on is my litmus spin to knit project. And at the moment my litmus is, or at least the yarn for, is living in this organza bag. I needed to move it to a nicer project bag at some point. And last year, I spun through a sort of a, a fibre calendar that I got for Halloween from Wonderful Wool. And I've got, I think, 10 or 12 mini skeins in various colours, which are gonna make the sort of contrast stripes in a litmus cowl. And the litmus is a pattern by Jude of Stranded Dye Works. And then towards the end of the year, I started spinning up some little samples to try and come up with a main colour for my cowl and I got as far as spinning up these little samples and I was going to knit a little swatch in each of these samples striping with each of my contrasts to see if I liked any of these for the main colour for that cowl and that was as far as I got. The end of my year got very busy and I never actually knit the swatches so I'm going to wind up my yarns and at least knit the swatches and if it turns out that one of these colours is definitely going to be my main colour I can then start to spin up the rest of the fibre that I'm going to need. That's the first hand spun project that I'm going to be working on so it's going to be a little bit of swatch knitting and then some spinning once I've picked out my main colour. So because that is mostly going to be a spin project is my excuse for picking a second hand spun project to work on throughout February and I'm going to pick another smallish project and it's the project that I cast on on day two of the cast-ons this year which are my lace mitts, the lunar mitts and here is the progress that I made on the first day of cast-on and I'm knitting these mitts from a two-ply lace weight hand spun yarn um, it's a wool silk blend and these are just so light and delicate <laughs> But also, if you watched that video where I cast these on, you'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of working with lace weight. I was very happy to find a use for this yarn as part of the 12 cast-ons, but I feel like this could be a project that could easily sit languishing in my pile of works in progress, just because I prefer working with different weights of yarn. So I feel like while this project is fresh in my mind, I want to make some progress on it. Um, if not finish it. I mean they're they're small mitts and although they're in lace bait they really shouldn't take too too long to finish she says confidently. So here's the project in the pattern book it's the Lunar Mitts by um, Anne Yoonson in the volume 4 issue of Shetland Wool Week. So once I have made some progress on my litmus and know what I'm doing in terms of continuing the spin for that I shall pick up and start knitting on my lunar mitts. So yeah, that's the plans for February. We're done, I think. Okay, so there we go. I shall be working on Victor Frog, the mid coast sweater, my litmus cowl, and my lunar mitts, hopefully. My unspecified mood project, plus my advent mitts. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> and February's a short month, isn't it? But hey, I can do this. <laughs> Please do let me know in the comments below what you'll be working on in February. If you've played along with the dice game fun, um, if, you've, if you're picking your prompts based on my roles, let me know what you're working on. If you've started your own dice game, which I know a few of you have out there, let me know what the dice has in store for you for February. Um, if you're not playing along the dice game, you know, that's by no means compulsory. You can still comment. <laughs> We're not excluding you. <laughs> you can still comment and let me know um, what your plans are for February. I would love to know. I'll be back again soon here on the channel with some more making content. So I hope you will join me for the next one. But until we do get to do spend time together again, I hope you get to do some other things that you enjoy. Great big willy hugs to you all. Bye for now. Bye.